Skirt, 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 skirt like I stole it I've been rolling, 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 rolling Pack loud, got a nigga wide open Hey guys, it's Shanae and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did these faux locks on my super short hair. I did use the rubber band method for this tutorial, so if you're interested, just stay tuned. So you should start by putting leave-in conditioner in your hair as well as a heat protector before you blow dry it out. So now I'm going to part my hair and place rubber bands everywhere where I want to put one of the locks. I am doing individual crochet in this video and the reason I'm following this rubber band method is because my hair isn't yet long enough to put it all into plaits. So now I'm going to crochet the locks on. What I'm doing is sticking the crochet needle under the rubber band, pulling the lock through, and tying it into a knot to make it secure. Don't worry about my natural hair showing right now, I'll get back to that later.
so now that all the locks are on i'm going to take the leftover ones that i have and use them as hair to wrap around the roots of the lock in order to hide my natural hair as best as i can this is my first time doing this so i know it's not perfect but as long as you follow this method it'll work also it'll be more seamless as long as the you know your hair color matches your the locks that you're doing so as you see, I'm pulling the piece of hair under the rubber band and literally wrapping the locks as I would if I was creating the locks myself rather than using these pre-made ones. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that method, but yeah, as you see, I'm literally just, you know, wrapping it around. I did this for each one and I know some of my natural hair is still peeking through but oh well like it was really puffy and like really hard to cover on top of the fact that it's not the same color as the locks so honestly oh well. <laughs> After you wrap it you should set it with hot water to make sure it doesn't unravel. So that's pretty much it. I hope this tutorial made sense and was easy to follow. If you guys have any questions, just comment below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.